cannot imagine doing professional work in InDesign without the ability to have ruler guides, without the ability to bring ruler guides all over the layout and put them exactly where I need them. Fortunately, I really don't have to imagine that because I have ruler guides. Sometimes, though, ruler guides can get confusing. Sometimes they get placed on there and you're not sure which guide is which. Let's say, let me zoom in on this layout here a little bit. What is this guide for? Is that the very outer edge of where I can put content? Is that the live area? Or is this? Can I extend content out to this one or do I have to stop it here? I'm not quite sure, especially if I'm collaborating on a document or working with a template someone else created. Can't always be sure what the ruler guides do. Wouldn't it be nice if we could change their colors to use color meaning with the guides? And if you're astute, you may notice that I've already done that. Notice I've got green guides here. And I've got the typical cyan guide here. And that cyan guide, if I scroll down a bit, allows me to line up objects. You can change the color of guides. You can use a lot of different colors for your guides. You can make your guides as meaningful as you want with color. First, let's look at changing the color of all ruler guides going forward. Maybe you don't like them as cyan. Maybe you're working with a lot of elements that are too close to cyan in color for you to be able to easily distinguish the ruler guide. For that reason, Adobe put in the preferences under the InDesign menu, Preferences, Guides and Pasteboard on Mac, or on Windows under the Edit menu at the very bottom, Preferences, Guides and Pasteboard. You can change the color of your margin guides, your column guides, your bleed guides, your slug guides, and your smart guides. Those little green ones that appear when you're aligning objects or moving them around. You can change all of those. You can't change the general ruler guides here. But here's where you can change all this other stuff. You can even send your guides to the back so that when you place objects, they appear above the ruler guides instead of underneath them. That's entirely up to you. I like to see my guides on top of everything. I'm going to hit cancel on this because I haven't changed anything. Now to change the ruler guides color, go up to layout, ruler guides. Now here is where you change the color of the ruler guides and all of InDesign's standard colors are available, and you can choose custom and pick your own color from your color picker. This is the Mac color picker. If you're on Windows, it's gonna look very different. Now the trick with this is when you change the ruler guide color, it will only change the color of new guides you create. So I'm gonna change this to something that's really obvious. We'll make it orange, click OK. Notice my cyan and my green guides have not changed. But as I bring down another pair of guides, they wind up orange. So now I can create the guides in the colors I need and place them where I need them. And then once I've created all the orange guides I want, go to layout and ruler guides and change that to the next color I want to do. We'll say violet. And then I will build my violet guides and put them where I want them. Then I'll go back to Layout, Ruler Guides, and I will return to Cyan for my ad hoc ruler guides to help line things up. And in that way, you can create ruler guides of any color for any purpose that suits you.